Hey guys, it's Uncle Ricky, your barber here. I um, want to go over a couple things. I'm going to be evaluating two razors today. <clears throat> a lot of guys come in the shop and we're always talking about shaving and stuff. And they will say, you know, hey, Uncle Ricky the barber. I say, yes, client. What is the best razor I can use? I, a lot of times we will suggest a single bladed razor, be that, you know, like a double edge. Um, these do intimidate a lot of people that haven't used them before. Yeah, you know, I'm glad anybody wants to come up and get a little education on wet shaving and such. That's fine. Uh, this is a single edge that takes another type of blade um, made by Feather, a Feather Artist, and a Feather Artist Club blade and such. A really inexpensive option is the Gillette Guard. This is a razor I do like. Um, popular in India, and I'm sorry about the camera angle, the way I've got it mounted is just, I don't know, it, it, at least it's up there, it might even fall, we'll see, but it's, these are replaceable, um, these come out of, out of India, and ship to your door, a razor with the cartridge, and maybe five extra refills, you can see it's single bladed, less than six bucks, so very inexpensive, um, it's, it's all, all plastic, lightweight, but it is a good option. Today I'm going to try out actually two different razors. One of them is the four bladed option from Dollar Shave Club. And there's some hair on it. I haven't actually done a shave with this yet. Um, makes me wonder where I got the hair from. I don't know. But anyway, and I'm going to use the Henry's. Now if you watched the past videos, you remember the Henry's. I haven't had good luck with these. Henry's has been... It took a while to get in touch with their customer service. Uh, when I finally did get a reply from them, they were like, okay, we'll send you a new handle. We'll send you a new this. We'll send you a new that. Um, I initially told them, I'm like, I don't care for your shave cream that you sent or the shave gel. With the gel, I was expecting actually, and I will be evaluating this today as well. This is made by Tin Skin. If you do have any issue, this is a shave gel. Now, if you do have like any shave bumps or uh, ingrown hairs and such, go to your local Walgreens, Rite Aid, CVS, whatever. Get a bottle of Tinned Skin. Same brand, different product. It, it won't say air shave gel, obviously. Stuff is amazing for clearing that up. If you're allergic to aspirin, you can't use it. It does have aspirin in it. All right, so going back to the Harry's razor, um, if you watch with minimal effort, that razor head comes off. And as I was shaving, one tap on the sink, well, that was two, but they fell off on the first tap. Um, I'm not going to move the camera to show you, but just a light tap and it comes off. And I'm like, that's a ridiculous, piss poor design. I can't stand it. The shades I have had with this, I did not like. This blade I did use very briefly trying it out in the shower one night. It was okay. So I'm gonna try it again today with a full shave and see if it's any better. I don't have high hopes for it. Um, and they're probably one of the most expensive out of all the subscription blades you can get out there. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some hot water and just wet my face down. Oh, I'm sorry, going back to the shaving, people ask me what types of razors to use. One thing I, I will say is a very imperative to a good shave is knowing how your hair grows. If you'll look on my hair, it goes, I don't know if it'll show up here or not, but down here, and I apologize if it's not showing up because I can't see what the camera's doing. Down here, I, it grows this way. Over here, it goes this way. Comes down through here, grows downward. Here we go back up and kind of up this way again and then down over here so if i were to shave with the growth of my hair and i try to but you can see in that area it's going to be rather difficult okay hopefully this will hold it it did not ah! hold on try it one more time we'll get through this promise one way or the other I used to really like this product that I use. It uh, you know, holds up your phone or whatever um, for videotaping. But um, I think it's worn out or just not as good as it used to be. I don't know. 
Also, another thing with knowing how your hair grows that'll help your shaves is preparation. And that's something if you get into wet shaving that you'll see a lot of videos on that really go into a lot of you know depth with prepping the face. You know, a lot of moisture, a lot of water. Um, people ask about shave oils and such. I, you know, you either like them or you don't. I'm not a huge fan of them. There are some people I will use them on. Just kind of depends. So, you know, it, it's definitely worth trying out. Kind of less is more. I'm going to do the left side of my face today. You're right. With the Air Shave Gel. It has almost a different kind of scent to it. Slightly medicinal, I don't know. Ah, uh, what is that scent? I can't place it. Kind of like hospital sterilization kind of type scent. All right, and this is actually, um, some of you may have gotten product from Dollar Shave Club. This is the lather. So, let's see, any directions? Use only as directed, but it's not directing me. Oh, dispense a strawberry-sized dollop of shave lather into hands and apply generously using fingertips or a shave brush. Oh. And we're falling. Stay up here. So, we'll use our fingertips here. Good feel. Um, using fingertips, though, from you know my experience, I'm going to say this is going to be too thick and going to clog my razor a lot. So I could combat that with either starting with a smaller amount before I go to the fingertips or, you know, lathering with a brush. And let's see what it looks like with a brush lathering it. Is it going to spread out a little bit? Get a little creamier? Is it going to just kind of fall off? Mm, not really building a lather that I can tell. The water. The water's not as hot as I like it to be. But, nonetheless, let's try this out here. Bear with me. Alright, so, first razor, let's use Harry's. Okay, this razor so far is definitely better than past experiences. This is why I hate cartridges with, you know, cream. But, it's not too bad right there. Now on the chin, it's definitely, I can feel it. Um, you know, maybe you're one that knocks it down with another type of razor first. I don't know. It's This blade is definitely better. So, I will say maybe the factory had a bad run of blades. I don't know. Now, I mentioned earlier, sorry, I know it's got to be annoying. I mentioned earlier that I told Harry's I didn't care for their crap in a can, basically. And they said, well, we're going to send you our shave lather, um, I guess much like in the tube. I never got it. I pretty much just told because every time I had an issue, like with the blades or whatever, it's okay, well, we'll send you, you know, I'm like, your handle design is poor. It's not supposed to happen. It's, we'll send you a new handle. I'm like, did you redesign it? Because if you did it, we've got, we're still going to have a, a, an issue here. Um, you know, I mean, don't keep sending me crap. Hey, maybe this will work here. Beautiful. Okay. Set the stand up a little bit. You know, I'm like, quit sending me junk if it's not going to work. Sorry, you got to look at the top of my head a second. One day when I get 2,000 